Hey everyone, I'm Shah, and in this video I'm going to walk through how to customize your email signature in Gmail. So this is a continuation of a recurring theme in my past few videos, which is all about leveling up how you present yourself as a professional in the data space. So I talked about how to build a free website portfolio using GitHub Pages. I broke down the resume I used to get me hired in my current full-time role. And here I'm going to talk about how to level up your email signature, which may sound like a very small part of the story of you as a professional, but it is one that I believe is very important. So I did a deep dive into customizing email signatures when I started freelancing back in grad school. So as a freelancer, you're by yourself and you typically don't have a big name brand to back you up and give you credibility. And this is where I feel a solid professional looking email signature can make a real difference. So having a custom professional looking email signature is an easy way to give yourself credibility and an easy easy way to share your online platforms and key links to anyone you send an email with. With that, let's see how to do this. All right, so here we have Gmail opened. So for those who are not familiar, you can make custom email signatures in Gmail. And so what that looks like, every time you hit this compose button to write a new email, your email signature is gonna pop up there. So you don't have to write it out every single time. And when you reply to people, you can have this come up by default. So anytime you send an email to everyone, you know, they have your name, they have a link to your website, they can have some call to action, and they have links to your social media. So the way you set up your email signature in Gmail is you got to go to settings. So you got to click on this little gear icon here and you'll click on see all settings. And then you scroll all the way down to a section called signature. And then you can create a bunch of email signatures here. So I have a few on deck. So I got this master one. I have one without my socials, one with a few socials. I have this test one, which we can actually, I'll go ahead and delete. But what we can do to make a new one is just hit this create new button. So we'll call this one example sig. As we saw with the email signature earlier, you know, is this picture and this format added text and these social media icons. So while it's easy to, you know, add text, you know, put your name here and it's easy to bold it. It's easy to add in links here, URLs, you can add in images and then you can actually link these images. Uh, with the URL. One thing that you cannot do with the default settings in Gmail is have these like two columns or multiple columns in your email signature, like what we saw before. So if I hit compose again, you have the headshot on the left and you have all the info on the right. And so there's actually a trick in order to get like these two columns or if you wanna add a third column or whatever. And it's actually pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And what we're gonna do is head over to Google Sheets. So if you're using Gmail, you should also be familiar with Google Sheets. What we'll do is we'll open up a new spreadsheet. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to basically create these two columns, create the layout for our email signature in Google Sheets, and then we'll be able to copy paste it over into our custom email signature. The way to do this is you select the cell and then we can go over to insert and insert image. And then we're gonna insert image into cell. And so here you're gonna want to import your headshot. So I already have mine ready to go. So I'm just going to go and drag and drop this over. And we can see that the headshot is appearing here. And so an important note here is that you need to make sure the headshot is a proper size. So here my headshot is about 100 by 100 pixels. And you really don't want it much bigger than that. In fact, if we go over here and we search Gmail signature size, we see that the ideal email signature is 170 pixels high and 200 pixels wide. So we have to be really cognizant about this when we're customizing our email signature. And so here I just did a hundred by hundred headshot. So just making sure I'm not too tall. I think that's going to be the main concern here. So I can clean this cell up a bit to make it nice and tight around the headshot. If you want to add a bit more space, you can always go over here and do the center align, and then this will kind of do the resizing automatically for you. Next, we can add some text here. So I don't recommend writing out your whole email signature here because when I was playing around with this and I was writing out my whole email signature in the cell here and then I copy pasted it over and then the formatting that got pasted over made the email signature too big and it wasn't able to be saved. So I recommend just using Google Sheets to set up the formatting and then actually fill out all the content of your email signature in Gmail itself. So here I'll just put test just so we can see that some content goes there and let's see I can 
Now let's left align it, but let's make it in the center. So I think that looks good. And then one last thing is if I just copy paste this over, it's going to carry with it these like gray lines and it doesn't look very good. So we don't want that. What you want to do is highlight the cells and you want to add a border, but you want to make sure the border color is white and you do that. And then you can click all borders and then you'll see the borders have disappeared from the cell. And then when we copy paste it over, we don't have those gray marks anymore. Additionally, you can add this little accent line in between the headshot shot and the text. So I'll just kind of put that in here as well. It was just like a light gray, have some thickness, then you click right border, and then it adds that little line there. So that's optional. You know, you can really go to town on how you want to do the formatting of this. Okay, but now we have the headshot, we have the text, we have this line in between. And what we can do is just copy these two cells, go back over to Gmail and paste that in. And so now you'll notice that this headshot looks terrible. We actually don't need to keep this headshot here. We really just wanted to get the formatting, get these two columns into this signature customizer here. So we can actually go ahead and remove the headshot, but now you see we have like this other column here. And so with that, what we can do is we can reinsert our headshot. So I'm gonna go to insert image and then I'll do upload. And then I'm gonna drag over the same exact headshot I use. So again, you know, I use hundred pixels by hundred pixels here. So just make sure it's a reasonable size. If the size is a little big, you can go ahead and just hit small and then that'll make it look nice. So now with the headshot in, we can start adding text. So what I had was something pretty simple. I just had my name, you know, we can just have a title. I like to have my website here and then some call to action. So I'm gonna put, okay, so here and now we're running into an issue. So going back, you saw that the text was kind of jumping over to the next line. That's because I didn't make this second cell wide enough. So we're gonna go ahead and make that cell a bit wider and then we're gonna come back, delete all this, put this back in and just repeat those steps. 100 by 100 pixel headshot comes in, we'll make it small. Okay, so now we'll try that again. So I'll put in my name, data scientist, so yeah, so I like to put my homepage in there and then I'll put a call to action, book a call. So this is a good checkpoint here. The cool thing is just like with a lot of text editors these days, we can make any text a URL. So I'm gonna go over to my website and I'm gonna get this link as well. I'm just gonna copy this and you can highlight the text you want to turn into a link. You just highlight it and then click this link button. And then you're just gonna paste in the link you want it to go to. And so now you should see it pop up as a link. And then we'll just do that again for book a call. There we go. And so already this looks like a pretty nice email signature. Maybe I'll, I'll add a space here just to give it a bit more distance from that line. But this looks pretty professional. So kind of going the extra mile, we can import the social media icons like we saw. So kind of going back, adding in these social media icons. And what's cool about these is that these are actually clickable links when you send the email. And so to do that, we'll do a similar thing as we did before and we'll insert an image. And so if we click this insert image button here, and there are actually two ways to do this. So the first way is you can import an image as a URL. And so, you know, an easy way to do this is just go to like any website. So I already have it loaded up in the search bar, social media icons for email signature. I, I found this one was pretty good. And what you can do is just go to any website that these images exist and you can just right click on it and copy the image address. And if you do that, you can come back over here, paste it in and you'll see the image pop up and there you go. So now the image is in your email signature. The other way to do it is to insert the image like we did before, which is by uploading it from your computer. So I have these like already on my desktop. So I'll just kind of go drag and drop them over. And so there we go. And now the image is there. And so, Again, whenever we're inserting images into the email signature, we have to be cognizant about the size of the image. So the headshot I did is 100 pixels by 100 pixels. And this LinkedIn icon, I made sure it was 24 by 24 pixels. And that's actually the same as this website over here. I thought this was a good size, 24 by 24 pixels. But this website has more, 32, 64, 128, so on. Also, it's pretty easy to resize images. If you're on Mac, you can use Preview. And so it's pretty easy typically to scale down images, just find it on the web somewhere, download it, and just make sure it's 24 by 24, or 30 by 30, whatever you wanna make it. Okay, so we'll just repeat this process. So I'll go ahead and insert the other links, I added a space, and I'm gonna hit insert image again. I'm gonna upload it again, and then I'm gonna bring in 
a few more. So here's YouTube. Okay, and you know, obviously what social media icons you put here will depend on your industry and whatever platforms you're on, but you can kind of customize it, get the spacing right. I just added white spaces in between the icons for the formatting. And then what you can do to actually make these clickable links is you can highlight them just like we did with the text, hit this link button, and then paste in whatever link you want. So I'll go back to my home page and grab all these links. So grab my LinkedIn. Grab YouTube, grab video, highlight, link, and then finally GitHub. Sometimes it'll hide behind this thing, but you can find that. All right, there you go. And so now we have our custom email signature. And when we're done, we gotta make sure we save changes. So we'll click that. I'll make a new email. I'll send it to myself. Make the subject line, check out my email sig and so this is actually a different one you can actually choose whichever email signature you want to use so i'll go to the one we just made which is called email sig and it'll actually automatically change to whatever email signature you want to use so maybe you want to have different signatures for different clientele or different audiences and then i'll just hit send all right so that's it so i hope that was helpful if you were painstakingly trying to figure this out for hours like i was at one point hopefully this made your life a little easier if you enjoyed this video be sure Sure to like subscribe and share it with others if you run into any issues or you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below i do read all the comments and try to answer all the questions that i receive and as always thank you for your time and thanks for watching